In this video, we're going to look at how we got to this site design. So we're going to take you behind the scenes so that you can see the dashboard and exactly how we set up all of these super cool features on the Keyboard Arts Academy. So we're going to go through this just from the top to the bottom. One thing I do always recommend to any client is doing maintenance on your WordPress site because if you don't, plugins tend to break and can actually crash your entire site. So whenever you see the little thing right here next to updates, you simply click that and it's going to tell you automatically what needs to be updated. And sometimes even when you update plugins, that can cause problems with your site too. So it's important to have an ongoing relationship with a professional that can help you troubleshoot any type of issues that you come across in the future. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's take a look at some of the elements that we used on the back end of this site. Now, in order to set up auto posts from different blobs, we used the W. Pimatico plugin. So what we did was we selected different RSS feeds on blogs and then have them ready to publish every single day that will pull in curated blogs with permission or open source blogs that actually fetch some of the features for this instructor so that they can have a constant blog posting presence. And this is important because this also gives us some leverage to be able to set up different things to auto post to this client's social media site. So there's many different ways that you can set this up, but this is just some info on how to do this. What this client is using is the free version of this particular plugin, but of course the pro features give you a heck of a lot more options, which I highly recommend. You don't have to do it, but it is important. The next thing we're going to look at is one of the ways we monetize this site is with a plugin called ClickBank Ads. And what this does is you simply take your ClickBank account number and then you save the changes and then you can show matching ads on top, the posts, or as a widget. What we did on this site was actually did we used the ad widget for this particular site because we didn't want it to come off too spammy or too, you know, addy. We wanted it to really look and feel very professional. Of course, it's up to you on how you want to do this, but it's always a, an option to put them on the top and the bottom of different posts or product pages as well. And then of course you can click your ad settings um, and change up, you know, exactly what's displayed. So what we did was search by keyword, obviously piano music, things of that nature that are relevant to this particular site. So you want to always keep your ads very, very relevant. Uh, the next plugin that we used is the pricing tables plugin. And what we did was we just created a separate pricing table on each page using the theme that we installed, which I'll go over in just a moment. Of course, we used contact form seven. This is a very, very, very powerful form that you can install either using short codes or using uh, your theme editor. What we used on this particular theme was actually the Divi theme. And this allows the end user to go in and customize and make changes as well because it is very easy to use and it's very drag and drop. A couple other plugins that we use that are of note. I'm going to go over here just to give you the total complete list. <clears throat> now, one thing we do have to activate is the Akismet anti spam because we don't want a bunch of spammy comments on the blog now that it's launched. We used Amazon auto links. We used Bloom. This is for email capture and also for email pop-ups. Bookly is another paid plugin that we use. This one, by the way, is about $99. This one is about $75. And then we used this plugin uh, so that people can schedule with her online and integrated that with her Stripe so that people can pay online as well. ClickBank ads. Commission Sumo, this is in text linking that goes direct to Amazon that I went over in the front end portion of the video. Contact Form 7, the Divi Builder, which is a page builder, which is very, very easy to use for pretty much any novice user. So it's very important to have that. Of course, we had to have the elegant themes updater because with it, with 
the theme that's installed, it's very important that that's there so that the theme will update as well as the plugins. And this is tied into both Bloom and Monarch. So these are all paid for premium themes, uh, premium elements as well, but it, it is very important to have. So we made sure that that was done with the API key installed. We did Google Analytics. Uh, we put Monarch, that's for social media sharing and also for social media follows. Responsive pricing table, revive old posts. So what this does is this fetches any old posts on her uh, page and then will repost it automatically to Twitter, which is pretty gosh darn cool. Then we have our WPE Modico. This allows you to create posts from different RSS feeds. And then at the bottom of each post, we have a yet another related post plugin so that people will stay on the site or maybe browse around a little bit. And then, of course, very, very important for SEO, we put in Yoast SEO for this. So there's a lot of features that we added in to this site. But just to give you an overview of exactly what we used, how and why, um, you can definitely replicate this if you want to try to do it yourself or you can contact us if you're having help with plugins. We do offer hourly rates in addition to assistance and service for anybody who wants to build their own WordPress site or have us build it, build it for you. Hope you found this useful and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. And of course, like, love, share, and talk to you later.